Hey guys, it's Anjali G. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we'll be mixing all of my 22 foundations. Ganito sila. And this is the foundation on my face right now. And if you want to see how I mixed everything, please keep on watching. This is what it looks like. Ito na yung aftermath ng minix natin. So, I'll be using the foundation I, for a good maybe 9 to 10 hours on my face. I will try. And we will see kung ano yung effect niya. I'm super duper excited. So, ganito siya. It looks like this. Tsaka ng um, background natin because I'm actually facing near the window. And para maganda yung lighting natin. And I'm actually wearing a spaghetti strap. Hindi po yan bra. So, okay. Let's get started. By the way, guys, I already have my brows on. And then, first, magpa-primer tayo. It's very, very important that you use a primer. And the primer I'll be using is just a smoothing primer. Hindi siya mattifying so that it will not alter the effect of the foundation. So, parang smoothing primer lang to siya. By the way, this is the L'Oreal Base Magic smoothing primer. Hindi na to siya available sa market. Um, either way, just use any primer that you have. Again, on the right side of my face, I'll be using a brush, left side sponge. So, ito yung side with the foundation, and then this is the side without foundation. So, marami talaga akong breakouts dito. I've been having intense breakouts on this area. Hindi siya masyadong natakpan. I'll try to layer it up. Let's see if natakpan niya. Ayan. Hindi talaga. Hindi niya natatakpan. Okay, so on the other side, we will use na sponge. So... Get this again from here. And then you see. Prefer the side with the sponge. Mas maganda yung side dito compared here. So I'll just go over now with the sponge. Ha? because I prefer talaga sponge when applying foundation. A bit heavy on the skin. Just a tiny bit lang. Medyo heavy siya. So, let's try to turn off the ring light. Um, ang ganda ng side dito. This is the sponge side. Tapos, ito naman yung brush side. Hindi talaga maganda yung skin ko, guys. My skin, I've been breaking out lately. And ito talaga yung pinaka-affected na area. 
But other than that, the foundation looks good. Maganda siya. It looks really nice, but I really still prefer the sponge side better. So, let's see. We can... Ganda talaga yung sponge na side. Okay, and then, yung foundations ko kasi. Okay, my foundations are mostly, I think, are mostly MAC. I have about mga maybe 5 to 7 na mga radiant na mga foundations. We will try to wear this for 9 to 10 hours. I will try. It's about 3.25 p.m. That's Noah. Yung sa YouTube na Noah. Anyway, so that's it's 3.26 p.m. So we'll see if I can wear this for 8 to 9 hours. Tingnan natin. And I will update you guys. I'll see you. So, ayan guys, nag-powder lang ako ng Nishido powder. Uh, I put on a cream blush from NARS and then just lip gloss and then yun na. Uh, wala ako masyadong rampa today. I'll just gonna go here the Sunday Mass and then I'll be going out with my friends. So, so yeah, I'll just update you later. Hi guys, so it's about an hour yata. Um, after putting on my foundation, it's 4.38 already and then this is what the foundation looks like so far so good I see some um, bit of radiance or dewiness coming out from my, my face so I'm not sure so I is it because mara, mas marami yung amount na linagay ko uh, on my you know radiant or dewy foundations because ayan hindi na siya masyadong matte which is what I really like so this is the close up ayan Pimple! Dami kong pimple. <laughs> but, so far, so good. Hindi siya kikitingnan. It looks very radiant and very dewy. Which is very surprising because mas marami akong matte foundations eh. So, anyway, so yeah, we will check in again later and I'll see you guys. Hi guys, so welcome back. It's about 11.58 in the evening. And then, ganito na ang mukha ko. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm super duper oily and um, just close up lang sa face ko. So ayan, grabe yung pimples ko dito guys. Like, let's just ignore that one. But, um, my redness, nakikita na yung redness sa face ko on this part. Ayan, these scars dito. But other than that, just to zoom you in, medyo cakey na siya and starting to break up already and then, but other than that, the finish of the foundation looks very, very nice, very seamless, very airbrush. Ang ganda niya tingnan actually. It sits beautifully on the skin. Wala akong masabi. It's really, really nice. Should I use that technique every day? I don't think so. Um, medyo ano siya eh, super hassle. Um, so yeah, and so I I will not be doing that one every day. And if should I do this technique again, maybe, uh, maybe if kailangan ko ng supernatural, flawless na finish gaya nito. Okay, so I will do that definitely. So ayan ayan na ang ati experiment sa mixing all of my 22 foundations. And yeah, I hope you will try that one as well. You try to mix all your foundations and see what the result is. And then, please let me know in the comment section below if nagustuhan nyo din ba. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on my next one. Bye-bye. Oh, and ganito siya in natural lighting. This is not natural pala. This is fluorescent lighting. So, ayan kasi gabi na. Yun yung foundation. Looks very, very nice. Ganito siya. Oh, and let's try to see if... Ayan. Okay, let's try to see if may magta-transfer ba. If I'm gonna blot. Wow. Amazing. Well, no transfer. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Walang transfer, guys. And when I blot this one, naging maganda na naman ulit yung foundation. Hmm. Amazing. Na-amaze talaga ako. Promise.